My name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff, where I'll make a healthy dinner from start to finish and pair it with wines from around the world. Let's fill up that glass. Hi, I'm Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff. Today, we're doing a spicy sambal chicken stir fry that is so easy, and we're doing something special today. We're doing this shot in one take, because I want to show you how easy it is and how fast you can get a healthy meal on the table. I am going to time us right here with this phone, and in the meantime, we're learning about a new grape today. It is our cat's Italy, I'm excited to tell you about, but I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. Let's get the timer rolling on this. So here we go. We are timing as you can see. Now let's get started. I turn the burner on. That's the wrong burner. <laughs> so we got the burner on. We're gonna be adding grapeseed oil because I wanna get it to a, a nice high smoke point. So we got grapeseed oil going in, and we have, for flavor, a toasted sesame oil. So both of those are going in, and we know we have to do add the grapeseed oil to the toasted sesame oil because any dark oil is definitely, you can't get it up to that high smoke point that you want. So I have chicken right here. I use chicken breast that I sliced up. You could use chicken tenders, you could use shrimp, uh, whatever you want to do, this is you. But I am doing chicken today, so let's get this swirling around in the pan. We want this screaming, screaming hot before we put the chicken in there. And to this, we're just going to be adding some onions, this easy, delicious sambal sauce that's not too spicy, but just perfect, perfect. Let's, let's do a little test strip to see if it's ready for us. It is ready for us. So let's get these in here. And we are not putting any, whoa! We are not putting any salt, let me turn this, because there is gonna be enough sodium in the sauce that we're doing. And as you see, I cut these extremely, extremely thin, just so they would have really fast cooking. Now in the meantime, while that's cooking, let's get this over here. Move my wine aside. And get that going. Let's smash up some garlic we're gonna be putting in. Even though the sambal has a garlicky, a, a, a chili garlicky flavor. I like to add a little extra garlic, but you actually don't need to if you don't want to. That's up to you. So our garlic is ready to go in. And a half of an onion. This is a sweet onion. We'll save that other half for later. Peel always the outer edges, because the outer edges are always the oldest on an onion. I don't know if you guys know that. And so you always want to take those off into my trash heap over there. And then we're just going to slice these very easy. Go down, we're just going to easy, simple slices. There we go. And we're just going to toss those in there. Let's get this chicken, keep it moving around. Look how fast that chicken is cooking. There we go. And like I said, you could use chicken tenders, you could use shrimp, whatever you decide. Tofu, if you want to make it vegetarian. Okay, now that chicken is almost done, so we're going to add in our onions. And adding in the onions and the garlic is going to uh, release a lot of liquid, because there's liquid in the onions there. So let's just, whoa, doing this so fast. 
<laughs> Set that board aside. Let's get our sauce working right now. Uh oh, this is gonna be scary. Let me see if I can get the sauce over here without me spilling everything onto the floor here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here it comes. So you guys can see what we're putting in. And if you're not used to a sambal, this is exactly what it looks like. And the sambal doesn't say sambal on it. It'll say garlic chili oil. And it's usually found in the Asian sections. Um, because there's a lot of chili oils out there, so you want to definitely, and you get it in your regular grocery store. Uh, that is going good. Now we got to get our sauce working on right now, so we can get that ready. So let's get a tablespoon of our sambal going right on in. So the sambal's going in, and we are doing hoisin sauce. So, three tablespoons of poison sauce going right on in, and a little bit of tamari, about a tablespoon of tamari going right on in, and then we have, just to sweeten it up just a tad, a little bit, a tablespoon of maple syrup. And let's set that aside because I need to now work on getting this lime. We want the lime juice in there. Then that actually brings back on the heat. It pulls down the heat, the acidity from the lime juice pulls down on the heat. So we're gonna put two tablespoons right on in there. Woo, onto the floor. <laughs> I guess we got all the juice out of that when we could, right? Don't you love it when it's live like this? Stuff like this happens. You just have to roll with it. So, we are going here. Look how fast that chicken is almost done. Everything is almost ready for me to add my veggies. Now let's spin that around. To this, I wanna add a little bit of fresh ginger. And let me just slice down on the ginger here, make it nice and easy for it to come across on the plane. Okay, and we're gonna put this right, I'm gonna use the plane right here, my trusty old plane. And we're gonna get some ginger, all nice and minced. We're gonna add that to the sauce. And this is gonna be so refreshing, delicious. Oh yes, almost enough there. We just want a teaspoon of fresh ginger. There we go. Let's get that in there from the back of the plane. And let's get this in here. So our fresh ginger is in there. And we are done, the sauce is ready for us. So let's get, next thing going in is sugar snaps. These are already pre-washed. Done. You don't have to do anything except add them right to the pan. And they don't need to be pre-cooked because I love the snap that they give. You only want to have them in the pan for maybe about two minutes. So you want to put them in near the end once we're all done. Okay. And then we can finish it off with some cilantro. We'll take some cilantro. So we'll just let that go for a minute. And right now, I'm gonna talk about this great Arcatzitelli, which is Dr. Constantine Frank is the winery. And this is actually in upstate New York in Crater Lakes. And this grape is actually known to be one of the oldest grapes out there. It is, they say it takes back to 300 BC, which is just, Amazing. Let's take a test. Mm. I'm getting notes of pear and grapefruit and herbs like a fresh basil. Oh, this is just amazing. And the minerality from the Crater Lakes area is definitely coming through in this wine. It is just, just amazing. 
just amazing. And you just want to add in your sauce last minute because the sauce, since it has a lot of sugars in it, will burn. So we're going to add that sauce in right now because it is ready for us. Sauce going right on in. Delish, right? Turn down the heat a little bit because that sauce will definitely scorch and burn. That's why you're just putting it in there to coat everything. Get in that delicious, spicy, sambal flavors. Oh, this is going to be so good. Let's cut up a little bit of cilantro here. Some cilantro. Just a garnish and put right on in there. Woo! Back and forth. There we go. Cilantro right on in. A few flips. And we are done. It is that simple. Now let me play it up here. Now take a look at this. This is another, I want to show you, super simple, easy way. Okay, see this jasmine rice? Two minutes in the microwave. Done. Done. Completely done. Okay, fork. <laughs> Thank gosh, those are right in back of me, right? So... This needs to be turned off, definitely. So, fluff up our lovely jasmine rice that was two minutes in the microwave. And now we're just gonna add this delicious, delicious chicken right into the bowl. Look at that, look at that. That is delish, done. Now, let's, let's take a time. Let's see how long it took me to get dinner on the table. 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Actually, it was 10 minutes and 55 seconds, so. A little less, almost 10 minutes. I didn't quite make it, but I gotta taste this. I gotta taste this. Mmm, that was so delicious. Just the perfect. Perfect amount of heat from that sambal sauce. Thank you for stopping by Wine and Dine with Jeff. And we'll see you next week.